Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Google. I was uh, going to do a video on them uh, yesterday and uh, didn't get it done. I thought they were hitting the lows yesterday, but um, I believe they hit a 52-week low here today. So you can see they were in the $140, $150 range um, back in November. Um, getting close to a year ago and just uh, keeps going down uh, since then. Uh, so you can see over the past year, down over 26%. Uh, in the past three months, down 6.3%. Here in the uh, past month, uh, down over 11%. Had a couple just big drop-offs. A lot of uh, tech is following suit. And here in the uh, past week, down about 2.5%. And here today, it's down again. So. Maybe we're going to hit $100, but um, ticker G-O-O-G-L, there's a, I think it's the C shares is G-O-O-G, -O -O -G, so and there you can invite friends, but if you don't know much about Google, you're probably uh, searching this on Google and definitely watching it on YouTube, which is part of Google, so I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, founded in uh, 2015. 1.34 trillion dollar market cap, which is just mind blowing. So, high today of a 102.81 and low of 101.42. So, I almost wish I would have done an option if I'd have known that was going to go down again today. But now it's getting close. It's went down since I first looked at it here. 52 week high of 151.55 and low of $100.94. Um, I almost going to place a bet and see if it'll hit $100 even, so you can list that in the uh, comments what you think it's going to go down to. Average volume of $28.32 million, and oh, that's a bad sign, $6.66 .66 million here today, so. And always great ratings on this one, still at a 94% buy, so I wonder if that'll go down, I think that used to be at 96, but still great ratings. Next earnings on October 25th so I was going to point out uh, when this was a 2000 uh, got up above of $3,000 at one point in time um, that you can buy partial shares of this one on uh, Robinhood or if you don't have $100 you can still throw 10 20 bucks at it or dollar cost average into it so many dollars per day or week or however you want to do it and until we see how much further this one's going to go down so uh, you can do that here on Robinhood or M1 Finance, or you can do it on uh, Schwab as well. Um, I think they call it slices on there. Uh, but over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, uh, showing it as a strong buy with an upside to $140, currently at 101.69. See if it keeps going down while we're talking about it here. But uh, shares were sold by uh, Symmetry Partners. Wow down by 31.9% during the second quarter according to the most recent filing with SEC. The firm owned 4,658 shares of the information services uh, providers uh, stock after selling 2,182 shares during the period. So there's the uh, net worth, uh, but not going to go into all the details, so feel free to uh, pause and uh, go over that information. And here's another one. So, so they decreased their position, which is kind of odd. Uh, which the stock keeps going down. So, uh, almost tells me they're probably selling at a, a loss, but um, it's hard to say. Selling 144 shares during the quarter, Alphabet makes up four percent of uh, Beach Hill Advisors. So. I don't know, interesting action, so but feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest of that again. Just some more buys and sells here with uh, Vanguard, raised its holdings. I don't know, if I had a hedge fund right now, I'd probably hold, just buy a little bit and see how much further it's going to go down. That's kind of what I've been doing with it, so. But Alphabet, uh, Google gains, uh, but lags a market. Uh, what you should know, this is just dated here yesterday on the uh, 19th. Closed at 103.85, and as you can see, we're way below that. Well, not way, but a couple dollars. Uh, marking a plus 0.21 move for the prior day. The move lagged S&P 500's daily gain 
of 0.69%. Meanwhile, the Dow gained 0.64%. Heading in today, the shares uh, company had lost 12.27% over the uh, past month. So I'm not going to go over all this since we're already below what the uh, price they're talking about here in the end. Uh, but for the full year, they're projecting earnings of $5.21 per share and revenue of $236.94 million, which would represent uh, changes of minus 7.13 and plus 11.73% respectively from the prior year and there's some ratings we'll go over more of that towards the end um, but number one risk that might surprise alphabet shareholders uh, this was out uh, yesterday so we'll kind of skim through it uh, Google many that follow Google understand that the uh, success is highly dependent on the company's willingness to uh, spend on digital ads they may even uh, know that it's more insulated than others in the industry. What they probably uh, don't know is how much of a downturn is uh, likely to affect the uh, share price. Here's a uh, big piece of the pie. The advertising industry is a much uh, different from the uh, generation a year ago. Last year, a report advertising conglomerate Predicted uh, digital would make up nearly 65% of all ad spending in 2021, which is the uh, bigger chunk, and that's just probably going to keep increasing. Same report went on to estimate that about 80 to 90% uh, of that amount would flow to Alphabet and Meta. Meta or Facebook is also down. I think they're at 52-week lows. The dominance has been uh, cemented over time. At a glance, the annual avenue revenue uh, shows 2021 was uh, far from the uh, norm. After annual uh, growth of about 19% in the three years uh, leading up to the uh, pandemic, ad revenue uh, jumped 43% in 2021. That spending party was uh, destined to uh, lead to a hangover, and it has. So, And here's advertising revenue of uh, Google from 2000 to uh, 2021 in billions of dollars. So you can just see just whatever fraction of a billion that would be. And it took them to 2003. That's quite a jump, about uh, tripled there. So finally hit a billion in 2003, and it's just been doubled, little and then some doubled almost doubled so it doubles every so often and six million and look at this big jump 134 to 46 and just keeps going up so that's why I'm a long-term hold on Google just by this chart I mean that's like a 60 billion dollar jump just from one year to the next so it's got to raise the uh, stock price so yep yeah, I'm uh, long term on this one just gonna keep holding it hopefully it'll split again at some point in time but um, I covered this one during the split same as Amazon uh, but Google a buy at this multiple um, I just bought some probably gonna wait and see what it does and possibly buy some more I've been I had some uh, before the split and um, was waiting for the split so I could buy some more and if you didn't have even if you don't have a hundred dollars now you can buy uh, slices like I said so currently at 101.69 low of a hundred dollars and ninety four cents high of 151.55 I have no doubt it will get back up there so once the stock market corrects uh, whenever that will be there's both tickers now we know what Dan Niles is shorting this and other ad names <laughs> So, recent drop, everything's dropping, so, shut the front door, nope, <laughs> it's going to go back up, I mean, it's Google, it's not going anywhere, just drop already so I can load the boat, looking for a 90, there you go, yep, see, a lot of people are watching this one and waiting for it to drop, people want this one to drop, same here. Over here on MSN Money, there we go, strong buy, can't beat that, with an upside to 142.80, so 
But that's all that I have on Google. If you have Google, go and list it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis, any other information you'd like to share. And if you um, have any other stocks out there you want me to take a look at, I'd be happy to do that as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.